G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the MA5D ICWS. It's the Halo Assault Rifle as part of the Mizraya Armory Weapons mod. This is a highly customizable standalone weapon with custom sounds and animations for the reloading and a custom ammo counter script that doesn't destroy your frame rate, so yay. The script that they've uh, made for that has definitely gone through some changes and some optimizations. Very, very good. Let's go ahead and get into the receivers, and the most damaging receiver is this. The uh, mark for internal uh, mechanism here, but you can have a faster fire rate thing here. So yeah, if you want to make it more like the, um, I guess the Fallout 1 thing, where it's just a bullet hose, the bullets don't actually do a lot of damage, then you can do that. But I'm going for damage per bullet mostly. And you can chuck a suppressor on it. Interestingly, this suppressor doesn't actually do anything with um, Ace Operator at all. So I don't know what that's all about, but I should be getting 25% more damage, but I am not. Uh, we'll leave the suppressor off. We'll definitely grab a suppressed one, but we'll leave it off for this one. And we can change that mag up to 60 rounds. Um, that'll change a little bit later when we actually have the weapon in our hands. And you can make the flashlight either on or off. Um, if you want to use that over a Pip-Boy flashlight, that's basically there if you want to. And if the damage isn't quite doing it for you, you've got a whole damage slider from minus 60% all the way to up to plus 100% in increments of 20%. Very, very nice and customizable. And you can chuck on some reflex sights if you feel like it. Some scopes too, if you feel like sniping with this thing. Uh, I'll go for that one. Sure, why not? I have sights on it. feel like that's necessary. And you can change the ammo type. So FMJ, FMJ, armor piercing, incendiary, and even more FMJ, except this one does more damage, and this one is explosive. Let's not chuck the explosive one on just yet. We'll chuck on that one. And I suppose that'll be our first ICWS. And uh, I'll create a couple more, and I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, so here we are outside of Immersive Gunners Plaza. We're going to try to take on all of these gunners at once today. And here is what this thing looks like in first person. As you can tell, the screen is moving. It's actually a moving part, which is very, very cool. And it'll get to the round counting as, as soon as we start firing. That's what it looks like in third person. Now... This is kind of the proportion of what the weapon would be like if, say, Master Chief was holding it. And we all know Spartans are like 8 foot tall. So, apparently, according to uh, Nova Finch, is the creator of the mod, I probably would have uh, shown that in this, just at the bottom before. But, apparently, that makes Iris like a 12 foot 7 Amazonian warrior. So, she's, I think, she, I think we'll be right. So, unlike taking on these guys from the front like an idiot, what I'm going to do is switch to a suppressed one and try to take them out just one by one, not taking them on head-on because that would be stupid. As we get to these bushes here, it might get a little bit more scary. And um, whilst we're here, let's just get started a little bit in VATS because it'll be a target-rich environment here and we get the, th um, the sneak attack criticals, which if I'm right, um, we won't actually get the full um, sneak attack bonus out of this because, well, it hasn't got it. The suppressor keywords aren't really where they should be. So as you can tell with a 3.9 times multiplier, we aren't getting the sneak attack criticals to where they should be. That gun has gone into space, um, because why not, eh? Is he coming back down? Who even knows? Possibly. I think gravity is a thing in this game, right? You'd never expect it. So we'll continue to keep going on this sneak attack crit train, and right now would be good for a scope, right? So I'm going to switch to the one with the scope. This one also has a rapid fire receiver, which means we take a lot of our damage out, um, but yeah, just like the bullet hoses that this weapon was, I guess it's a different weapon, right? Um, back in Halo 1 at least, well, it's definitely feeling a little bit more like that, and the recoil on this thing is a little bit hard to control with a scope too, and you'll notice I've also actually managed to um, make that target knock down, and that one was on a segue for a second, so good on her, but yes, um, that'll be very important for later if we run into something extra tough, and we were back into caution for a second there. But now things are getting a little bit heated, so what I'm going to do is... Okay, we're back into caution. Thank you, Escape Artist. We'll switch to this one. It's the same one I had before, actually. We'll switch back to this one with the reflex sight, the sort of the medium-range reflex sight, and we'll see what we can do. They're all below me. This is a good time for a grenade. I do not have a grenade. Good old Fallout 76 reflex is getting me down again. And now this is the time of any time to use this thing in VATS because it's not a terrible weapon to be using in VATS because, as you can tell, I get a decent amount of shots. I think I've just reached the limit. So we'll just go for some criticals and after the fourth shot, it'll all be critical. So under the protection of VATS, we should be right to kill all of these gunners fairly easily. One more crit and then they're all automatic. So I can take my fingers off the keyboard now, off the mouse, and we'll just let watch the slaps to clarity ensue as these gunners are thrown around. 
I think we're a little bit out of range for that one is why we didn't quite get them in one shot. Although Gunner Brigadiers are the top tier ones. That's the last one to kill. Quickly mow down that one if we can. No, let's pull back a little bit. And we'll bring out the unsuppressed ones, which have cool sounds. Now, I've watched a lot of RB and the Chief um, over my adolescent years, and I'm fairly confident this is the same sound that the uh, Assault Rifle makes in Halo Reach. I could be wrong on that. I'm willing to be proved wrong. I haven't played much other... I've, I played Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2 back when they were on PC, but never had an Xbox console in my life, so I didn't get to experience the best of it, I suppose. And you're going to die now. There we go. Actually saying that, I can experience them soon enough, because there was rumours about Microsoft releasing Halo Reach and all that on um, PC, which is great. And this has definitely got the stopping power in close quarters to do very well. Even though we're getting that half damage penalty that, um, that very hard difficulty brings us, we're actually taking out these gunners very, very quickly. And we've also got the 60 round mag to our advantage here, so that means we can basically... Hang on, I'm being suppressed by two gorse rifles here. Hunker down. Well, it means we can basically hold down the trigger and fire for days, which is very good. So let's do precisely that. We've got seven bullets left. Reload around the corner. Suppressing fire. Take out that gunner. Very nice. Laser shotguns. Not really a concern, to be honest. And we'll keep on going. Keep on hosing down this particular gunner. And probably switch over to this one with a reflex sight, which I don't really like all that much. I don't like the reflex sights on this. Now, granted, I probably should have put the um, the best compensator on this. I only think I put the first one on to, you know, keep the look of the muzzle of the original assault rifle. But there's a bit of recoil on this. So if I actually would like to aim with this thing, summoning my recoil control tactics seems to be a good way to go. And we're at Nerd Rage Threshold right now. Iris is really mad as she's unlocking that door, ready to kick some ass and chew bubble gum, and there appears to be no bubble gum in my inventory right now. So kicking ass is the only option, which we've just done there. Nice little um, slow motion Call of Duty um, room breach there. You can't make that up. That, that worked out pretty well. Now, how close are we to a level up now? Because usually when I'm using this weapons like these, I'm really quite close to a level up. So if I quickly kill that one. Okay, we're not too far off, but I'll continue to get these free criticals. I mean, free criticals of War on XCOM, because they're out of cover and we've got a massive height advantage on them, but still. Let's keep on going, shall we? We'll jump on this mushroom to get up. Okay, platforming is hard in this game. Almost dead. There you go. This one definitely has a... It feels like they definitely have a lot more punch when they're unsuppressed, which I guess is what they want. Unfortunately, blowing up the cars do, like, fuck all to anybody who's standing next to them because they just have explosion resists, I guess. But we'll quickly take out that one. Or rather, we can just pacify them because, like... Oh, you're just hunkering down behind the car. Well, that was a good use of cover AI. Good job for you. And I'm not sure whether we're actually done yet. There's an Assaultron over there. I'm just going to shoot it with a critical. Because I'm close to a level up. And if I level up, I get all of my hit points back. So what's left? Maybe I did take them all out. Okay, there's a couple of Rust Devils over there. There we go. There's that level up I was after. And a crit for you. Which means we're clean out. Okay, I'm going to change that right now. thought that was an iBot for a second. Nope, it's just a Rust Devil head. There we go. Alrighty, enough gunners have been slaughtered on this day. Let's go ahead and kill some Super Mutants instead. Okay, welcome to Baby West Tech. This is like the uh, baby version before it turned into a big bad cell of full of tough enemies in Fallout 76. A um, lot of Super Mutants in here, and I've changed up the weapon. I'm no longer using the Rapid Fire Receiver, and I've toned down the scope. Um, it's, not, it's only a three times now, so it looks different. It looks a bit goofy, to be honest, but now we're actually hitting for a lot better damage, so I'm glad that, that I did that. And we'll keep this stealth train going until we are detected, Frame rate destroying goodness. I feel like that effect is not the same as the standard legendary explosive bullet effect also. Satisfy my curiosity. Chameleon stuff. Ah, yes. Good old chameleon stuff in Fallout 4. And since these two are so close together, might as well just kill them. Break his legs very, very instantly. Well, not really instantly, but we, we got him stuck down before we killed him. So pretty damn good. And we'll back up here. 
as you can tell, running this with a suppressor and a scope is fairly effective at not only keeping enemies away from you, but allowing you to do lots of extra damage with that glorious 3-point time... 3.9 times multiplier. Yeah, okay. Stealth jigs up. Now, this is just the regular one I was using before. I switched out the compensator from the, to the first one to the last one, which says exceptional recoil control, and honestly... It's a little bit better, not too much better. It's still a, it's still a little bit better. So whatever, it, it's better. Okay, it's it's good. It's fine. We'll, we'll keep on going. My lord, you guys look like you've got the energy shields of your own because you are tough nuts to crack. And good thanks to you know you know. Pneumatic armor, sorry, pneumatic armor for uh, reducing that stagger there. So we managed to keep on shooting him, even though we were hit by a massive super mutant. So that's pretty good. And uh, we'll keep on going. That one was only a very weak one. Aim for the noggin for extra damage. There we go. And hang on, is that a rad roach? Oh, bless your little cotton socks. Glowing rad roach, even. Yeah, he's dead. Surely. No. He survived. Surprised. Your arrogance blinds you, Master Radroach. I'm pretty sure it was the lads from here, wasn't he? Is that a legendary one? Yes, it was. A Stalker's Double Barrel Shotgun. I reckon that's a loot lockable item, so if I reloaded the autosave when I first came in here, I might get an explosive one. I, I want to try, actually. Alright, we'll move on. I'll if I get an explosive one, I'll show you. Ooh, got a two-shot one this time. Okay, time to kill the... Is it Bloodthirsty Ghoul? Yes, it is. And his friends, which include a bloatfly. No, I, th I think he's trying to eat that. Also, there's another ghoul over there. There's just a... There's many things going on right now. Ever since I installed that mod with the M27 IARs, that, that death claw just kind of shows up everywhere. So, he needs to go. He needs to go away. So, we'll take him out first of all. And, yeah, you can really tell how much the suppressor drops the damage off at range there. Oh yeah, I forgot they can do that. A whole lot of good that did, mate. The only reason I took so much damage is because old mate over here whacked me. So, uh, yeah. Guess what? You're getting it. Uh-oh. Okay, that death claw is still going to be around. So he might pick me up and drop me after that. Oh yeah, I'm also out of, out of criticals. And we're into nerd rage now. Um, luckily for me, that means I do a shit ton more damage. And, ooh, saved by Nerd Rage. There we go. It's so much better, because I've got a destroyer of, uh, of Acadia, because I killed all the Sins in Far Harbor. It gives you, like, 200% more damage when you get into the Nerd Rage, so that synergizes so well, and you can just... It's just really good for pulling that much damage out of your ass, so... Yep. It was, uh... wasn't the smoothest run, but it had a good finish, at least, so... Pretty damn good. We'll move on. Okay, so that smaller death claw before got me in the mood for killing bigger death claws, and whoops, the round counter was uh, messed up there. Anyways, so like I was talking about before, the ability to knock down targets is going to be invaluable in this fight. Uh, the problem is that, well, his cronies are going to detect me, and um, there's also gunners up yonder which will aggro him and, you know, not allow me to get my only 3.9 times sneak benefits, and, oh, do you see that dodge? See, I heard you. I've got... I've got surround sound in my headphones. I can hear you coming from a mile away, mate. Or so. There's a lot of easy ways you can avoid death claws. Usually when they're big like that, it's hard. Put me down, you. Um, but if you just weave in and out of trees, that kind of messes up with that pathing enough for you to get away with it. Alrighty, so we'll just pick off all of the lesser death claws around here. Very, very nice. Took one out there. You're still on the ground, which means you're an easy kill. Just bullet hose him to death. And one more mythic death claw. And I believe that is all of his cronies. Let's see what kind of other things I got. Oh, that's an instigating hand mate and an enraging lead pipe. I know which one I'd take if I was given a choice of those things. Oh, he was about to stomp on me. That's not very nice. And as you can tell, it's going to take a while when we do it like this. Also, he's got a tendency to jump around like that. So I think Furious would be a good effect for this because unlike the... Uh, version in Fallout 4, well, there's no limits to how high it can stack, meaning you can just keep going and going, so what I might do instead is just get some that and that. I'm gonna eat the... yeah, I just injected the assault rifle, and now I kind of need to eat the jet again, which means I've had two. 
Yummy. Alright, in slow-mo now, and a uh, slow motion reload. We had active camo for a second there, that's the only explanation. And, yeah, once we get these shots zeroed in, well, unfortunately we're not staggering as much as I'd like to. And I think it is time to go for the belly, and don't stop shooting at its belly. Very nice, getting that damage stacking up nicely. Dodge that attack there. Probably felt the wind on that one as it went by. He's mutated at this point, he goes in for a high five, manages to get us, and he's picked us up. He throws us down, which means it's not an instant kill, and instead of immediately attacking us like that, we manage to break his headbutting move, and he's got himself wide open to the belly whilst we're shooting him like this. And if you really wanted to see the round counter in slow motion, there it was, and let's hope this uh, critical... <laughs> stuff would be able to kill him because it's getting tight here it's getting really really tight it's going right down to the wire don't give up now iris in fact we can just cheese this by the way we can just sit here yeah that's probably the easiest way we can do this he can hide within those trees we can just shoot him over here wham tension breaker we'll shoot him with the explosive one because that's fun knock him down keep on holding down that trigger running out of mouse pad luckily the mag ran out first so We've got this match on ice, nothing more to do, and there you have it, one death claw kill, and I'm pretty satisfied with that. So, there you have it, that was the MA5D assault rifle with many different versions, by the way, look at all this. Actually, they're all e, uh, E37s because probably the receiver, but yeah, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, check out the description, it's a, it's a very good weapon mod. I've covered two of these so far, so yeah, if you'd like to see more, do let me know, and I'm... It's not the first time I've covered the MA5D either. I did it with another mod, which um, War Daddy animated. I'm not sure if he did the animations this time. Perhaps I should have a look next time before I run my mouth. But yeah, it's definitely a much more solid weapon. The You can actually get away with using a round counter on this if your process is good enough, which is very, very nice. The weather's getting bad outside. Anyways, so I'll leave you with that. Thank you very much for watching, guys.